Good evening, it's Wednesday. Johnny Daniel, your Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator right here in the lovely 29 Palms. If you don't know where 29 Palms is, well, can we say it's short of 30? No, it's just east of Palm Springs. So, so if you're joining me tonight, we are going to be creating off of brand spanking new paper and some really cool brand new products for the second release of Celebration, which starts in, which goes live uh, February 15th, which is next Thursday. Okay. So just a couple things. I'm going to flip through the brochure. I'm going to show you the products and then we're going to make a card tonight. Just grabbing some water real quick. So here's the new brochure. And this is good till the end of March. Okay. Now this is a little bit different from the last one because it's got the new stuff as well as everything else in here. Okay. So on the back has all the stuff that's been previously offered as well as here. Okay. Just done in a different layout. But now we've got Eclectic Expressions, which is new. We've got Springtime Foil Specialty Designer Series Paper, which is what we'll be working with tonight, as well as the Blossoming Basket Bundle. Boy, say those three times fast, huh? So, um, so we'll be working with these tonight so you can see what's going on. Um, I did pre-order all of them. So I do want to give you a heads up on these. Um, there are four different patterns with three of each of the patterns. So a total of 12 sheets. And this is free with any $50 purchase. They are not double-sided like most of ours are because they are foil or the metallic that you're seeing. So, um, so they're only single-sided pages, but they are quite a bit thicker. Okay, so we've got a polka dot one. We've got some leaves, filigree leaves, some stripes, which I am tempted to color green and get like a forest kind of thing going. And then some, uh, would we say roses? I'm not sure. But, so that, that is what we have, at least for the moment. All right, so I've got some things already prepped a little bit um, but this is eclectic expressions we are going to be using the thank you out of this tonight some very cool backgrounds and I don't know about you but I see kind of a disco ball so we're gonna have to see what we do with this but we're not there yet this just came in okay so we've got the basket weave okay that's a th another 3D folder, and I did a tiny bit of basket weave on the berry burst strip that we have here. This is going to go on the front side of the card, so I just wanted to give you a heads up so you can see it before it um, gets attached to anything. And this is just a tiny strip. It's gorgeous, you know, laid out on a huge strip as well. Okay, and then we've got our blossoming basket stamps so I'm just gonna let you see that up close more so and hopefully things will go all right so we've got that so I just want to show you and then we'll do it but this is how this originally came and this is similar to what we're gonna do tonight okay except we're gonna do it in dark brown so it matches, okay? So that is the name of the game tonight. All right, so, and then I've already colored and done my basket, okay? I stamped it in espresso, early espresso pad, and then I colored it with a blender pen and just real carefully with whichever ink pad, okay? So I did a little bit of garden green 
I did a light touch of early espresso and I did the berry burst with a tiny bit of crushed curry down here in the middle. If you're wondering what colors I've used. Didn't touch this. Don't know if I will. If anything, I'd probably touch it with a little bit of um, the Wink Stella, the clear, just to kind of give it a little bit of pop. But I didn't this time. We'll see. All right. So I've got my glue dots. I've got my fast fuse. Oh, and if anybody doesn't know yet, you really should because I've sent email after email um, as well as Facebook and a few other things. But the fast fuse tomorrow morning starts. You buy one cartridge and you get two refills for free. So the cartridge is 10 bucks, so it's less than 12 bucks tax shipping out the door. And the two cartridges are $7.50 each. So you pay less than $12 and you get, oh my gosh, like 30 bucks worth for free. So don't quote me on that number, but it's quite a bit. So, so we've got our early espresso. I've got crumb cake for my base of my card, okay? I've got my berry burst mat, and then I have, what is this called? Do you guys know yet? No? If you need the book, please let me know. I'd be happy to send it to you. Springtime Foil Specialty Designer Series Paper, which is going to end up beco becoming foil paper. I'm pretty sure of that. So, um... If you'd like to have the book for ideas or anything else, please let me know. I'd be happy to mail it to you, drop it off, deliver, pick up, you name it. You know how it goes. All right, so here's how this is going to go. I'm grabbing the, a sponge dauber, and I'm grabbing a whole bunch of early espresso. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure we're all on the same page, okay? Hey, Lise. Hey, Jude. How are you? I'm late as usual with reading my comments, so you're good. All right, so for this, you need a sponge dauber. You can use a sponge, but I will guarantee you it's really messy. It's better to have a dauber for this one, okay? And you're going to need some kind of paper towel, napkin, whatever the case may be. Just try to not have ink on it because as you're rubbing, that ink is gonna go into your paper if you rub hard enough, which I generally do rub hard enough, okay? So I am just grabbing some ink, and as my dauber gets more ink on it, in it, it'll become easier. But like I said, just rubbing it. And if you store these, store these in a Ziploc bag because the sponge tends to dry rot out here in the desert. Just FYI for you, you can use a tackle box, but you want to make sure it seals. Because if it's not airtight, you're going to end up with a dry rot sponge and a whole bunch of piddles on your paper. Okay? So that's just a tip for you. So I'm going to end up doing this. Alright, let's see how fast we can get this done, huh? So... In the meantime, I've already prepped the base, the mat. Like I said before, I've done, this is just a piece of burlap with a tiny bit of berry burst with the basket weave. And I've already colored in the basket and cut it out. And I was able to do all of that, all of the basket with scissors. No exacto knives, no craziness. So you should be able to handle that. Should. You know, maybe don't watch a show that you're really excited about and do it, but, you know, you should be able to get it done, at least with the little snips. Don't use big old honker scissors because, well, that's just an accident waiting to happen. So, so I'm just getting this done. You want to put a good layer on it, and then you can get all the streaks out later, but you just want to get some color down right now. And then you can even it out afterwards. Since it's a glossy cardstock, it's real easy to manipulate and easy to work with. Okay? And then last but not least, where your fingers go, you are going to do the corner. Okay? So let's see if I can smooth this out some. So I'm just dragging it across, getting more ink where I need it. And I'm going to leave some spots 
you know, with a tiny bit of like a, shall we say a highlight? <laughs> so, kind of looks almost like the color of coffee, doesn't it? Alright, and then I'm going to grab my edges as well. Because I want my edges really highlighted. Okay. So I'm just going to grab these real quick. Now when we're all done, we're going to take this paper towel and we're going to wipe off the top of this, which is kind of why I'm giving this a half a second because it'll let it dry enough, but the glossy will mean that it kind of spreads out too, so you'll lose a little bit more of your streaks, okay? So remember, airtight so that doesn't dry right on you, okay? Alright, so I'm just going to grab a paper towel here, and I'm just going to wipe. And then if you really want it accented, you're going to go alongside those stems. Okay? Let's see how that's coming out. I hope at least. Careful while you put your fingers, because you might have fingerprints a little bit. And if not, well, guess what? <laughs> You'll have brown on your fingers. Alright, so there's my piece. Okay? And let's see here. So I'm just going to grab my fast fuse here and I'm going to glue down my berry burst. Now, you may not want to glue it down. It depends on if you want your ribbon to go all the way around or if you want it to only go around the mat. So I'm going to look here and see. I'm thinking I'm just going to do it around the mat. But we can always change our mind right okay so I'm gonna grab my glue dots here and it looks quite different from the black one doesn't it almost gives it kind of an Asian theme I would say I don't know that's just me so I'm gonna grab some glue dots about three or so Okay, and I'm going to stick it on here, yeah, top third, you know, something like that, right? I had originally stuck this to the black one, but I was like, oh, I don't like the black because it doesn't coordinate with anything. So I had to change it, and I had to make sure that it coordinated because, you know, that's the name of the game, right? Alright, so, almost except for when they go into your fingers. Okay, so I've got that going on. So I'm gonna put my glue dots back up and go back to my fast views. If you're real particular about your ribbon not um, popping up, you might wanna do a couple glue dots on the edges. Just like this, it'll go through enough and then your ribbon won't stick up on the edges because it'll glue down in the paper, or at least not as much, I should say, huh? All right, get my pieces off of there. There's like a little bit of paper fiber or something. So I'm just gonna glue this down, hopefully straight, okay? So that's my, that's my little piece. And then I've already put dimensionals on the back, yes. Of course, with new stamps, there's always low points and high points. So, yes, I already messed up. So, this is my flip. And I won't tell you how many times I messed up because this is my second or third piece of paper. Cardstock, rather. So, I um, put the dimensionals on the side where the ribbon's not going to hit. So, that way it looked a little more even. Okay. So, there's that. And that's the card we're looking at. Really pretty, I thought. Quite a change from, you know, the white foil that we started with, right? So let me close this up. And so this is the original. This is it daubed with black. And that's daubed with the early espresso. So gorgeous card. I almost forgot this thing. You guys. All right, so I'm just going to do thank you in the middle. What stamp did I use for the background? 
It wasn't a stamp, it's paper, my dear. I hope you caught on by now. <laughs> so, it's the new paper out of Celebration Part 2. Okay? So, make sure it's correct, since we're stamping naked again. And you hold it just for a couple seconds so that ink can get down into the paper. Gives you a little bit of a clear image. Clearer image, I should say. If you have problems with your image looking fuzzy, you need to hold it down just a little bit more so the ink can go in instead of going just on the surface. And yes, of course I stamped that crooked because, you know, that's just how it goes, right? So, so that's, that is the card. Um, if you're still interested in um, card class, there's still some openings for Saturday, not for tomorrow. Um, I am book solid for tomorrow. I think we have 10 or 11 coming, which, whew, I was going to stop and then I had three new people. So, yeah, it's going to be a full class tomorrow. So, I do still have spots on Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. So, I know both of you have already told me, but um, if you do want to come, please let me know quickly since the RSVP is done tomorrow. There's an event on the on this page or I can send you an email invite whatever you choose okay so that is second release for celebration all of these are $50 items and um, got some good stuff coming up so it goes live on the 15th so um, Jan's first class will be the first one with it but if you want stuff from it please let me know We'll be doing some other specials and some other things going on. Um, Fast Fuse starts in the morning as well as the snail promotion. The snail promotion is only through me, not through corporate. So once that is done, it is done. And um, I think that's about all we have for tonight. It's a little bit shorter because I had a little bit more pre-made. And because I didn't figure you needed to see me, you know, sit in color. So if you would like the second release... For the celebration catalog, please let me know. Um, I know most of you watching, it is a guarantee because, hello, that's why we're here, right? So, um, without anything else, I'm going to let you go. And find me on my blog, www.stampingwithjohnny.wordpress.com. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Have a great night. Bye-bye.